Zip Tie Domes presents How to Build a Thin Shell Concrete Dome Using Latex Cement When I first considered building concrete domes, I looked at using metal rebar struts to build a dome that could be covered in concrete. The problem with this concept is that you would have to cover the metal rebar with two to three inches of concrete to keep water from reaching the rebar and spalling the concrete. Spalling is when a thin layer of concrete is put over metal rebar and the rebar can rust and expand inside the concrete, making the concrete crack and fall apart. So to use metal rebar surrounded by two to three inches of concrete, I would have to build a concrete form with an inner and outer plywood shell on the inside and outside of the dome and strong enough to hold four to six inches of concrete around the rebar to allow it to set which is not a practical low-cost solution. A much better solution is to build a thin shell dome without metal and without using concrete forms. So instead of steel rebar, one alternative is to use basalt rebar or basalt mesh or roving for concrete reinforcement, which you can purchase from Nick Gencarelli at Smarter Building Systems. Basalt concrete products start out as a fiber that is made from volcanic rock. The basalt rock is crushed and heated and extruded through a platinum rhodium nozzle at 2700 degrees Fahrenheit to make the fiber. Basalt fiber has the same coefficient of expansion as concrete and has more tensile strength than steel, so it is the perfect reinforcement for concrete domes. Basalt roving is just a basalt rope that can easily wrap around a curved dome surface. This can be a better solution than a mesh, as a flat mesh tends to create folds and pleats on a curved surface. Another solution for concrete reinforcement is to use fiberglass concrete products, such as fiberglass stucco mesh, or even fiberglass window screen material. Just make sure the window screen is alkali resistant and rated for salt water Otherwise, it can be affected by the alkali in the cement. So a lady from Texas named Lena bought one of our domes and told me her solution for making a concrete geodesic dome. She built a 16-foot zip-tie dome with 1-inch PVC pipe, and then she anchored it to the ground with long rebar stakes driven into the ground with a hammer. Then she covered the dome with canvas and applied a coating of latex cement over the canvas. When you add latex to cement, the results are amazing. The latex in the cement makes a waterproof coating, and it reduces the shrinkage and cracking of the cement, as well as adding resistance to the freeze-thaw cycling. You can also add more layers of latex cement on top of dried cement without causing a cold joint, as latex makes the cement very adhesive and sticky. One of the better latex products for cement is Sika Latex, which can be found at many home improvement stores. I understand that liquid latex comes in 55 gallon drums. If you know a source, please leave it in the comments below. Lena got her information about latex cement from a book by Dr. Albert Knott and Dr. George Nez called Latex Concrete Habitat. Dr. Knott and Dr. Nez were experts at urban planning and home design. A new dam was being built in Ghana, Africa, that was scheduled to flood the homes of several thousand people in, in about six months' time. Dr. Knott and Dr. Nez were tasked with finding a way to provide housing for thousands of people in a short period of time. As described in this book, they devised a way to build housing with waterproof roofs using latex cement. I bought this book, and it is a very helpful book and has all the engineering to go behind the concept. Dr. Nez used various geometric shapes, like a hyperbolic paraboloid, which is something like the shape of a Pringles potato chip, to make roofs with double arches in them for strength and to shed water. 
Dr. Nez's technique was to cover a wooden frame with three sheets of alkali-resistant window screen and then pour latex cement onto the screens and work the cement into the three layers to make a permanent waterproof roof. Dr. Nez lived a full life of 101 years old and passed away last December of 2022. He was an absolute genius in providing shelter for others and deserves much greater recognition than he has for his efforts to make the world a better place. What a man. So in October of 2019, I decided to use Dr. Nez's method and cover a small dome with alkali-resistant window screens and latex cement. I had used the dome with a tarp to cover a dog feeder for my sheepdogs. I used three sheets of alkali-resistant window screen material and attached it to the PVC dome with a staple gun. I also used one-inch drywall screws. While you might attach the screens to wood with this method, I don't see how you could very easily attach the mesh to metal EMT conduit with screws or staples. Then I mixed up Portland cement with Sika latex, using only the latex for hydration, and then later cutting it with some water with good results. I tried a two gallon container of white latex additive for mortar by Mappy. I also used a five gallon bucket of cheap white latex paint, which worked almost as well, but was incredibly messy. The two gallons of Mappy additive went a lot further than the uh, uh, small container of latex and the Sika latex. I started out by pouring the latex cement over the mesh and did my best to work the cement into the three layers of mesh with a trowel, but as time went on, I just used a hand brush and that seemed to work fairly well. I also just used my hand instead of a brush. What a mess. I also experimented with using a large can of cheap white latex paint, and it did work fairly well, but with my lack of experience in cement, the white paint got all over my old clothes. I tried the white paint latex cement on a test panel, and it worked pretty well. I did not get a lot of good video after this, as I was afraid I would get white paint all over my camera. You can see where there's a gray cement at the top that's been hydrated with Sika latex and white cement on the sides using the white latex paint. Another good reason not to video this part is that I never had actually really used a trowel before and I did not know anything about using a hawk to catch the cement as it was applied to the sides of the dome and it kept falling off the sides of the dome. A hawk is a flat plate that you hold under the trowel as you slap the cement onto the sides of a house or a dome. If you know what you're doing and have a hawk, it works really well. If you don't know what you're doing and don't have a hawk, well, it's quite a laugh. So I got the top of the dome covered, but the sides were very spotty with my first time to stucco technique. This project was completed in October of 2019. So here's the same dome nearly four years later in July of 2023, and it really has not changed other than being covered with tree leaves. But it does work, and it doesn't leak, and it holds up against the sun and rain and my lack of finesse with the trowel is still evident and written in stone, so to speak. I also noticed that adding a hard concrete shell to a hub and strut dome like this, it makes the dome much stronger as the shell 
envelops and holds the struts and locks all the struts together. My friend Ronnie is an engineer in India and he is building the zip tie domes with steel doorways. Then his staff is covering the dome with fiberglass mesh and latex cement for a large housing project there. Covering a dome with latex cement for low cost housing could really help a lot of people, especially in places where bamboo can be used for struts. If you have not seen it, I have a video on how to build a dome out of bamboo using our hub design. I will put a link down below. So, how do you insulate a dome that has only a single layer of a latex cement between you and the cold weather? Sure, a thin shell dome will work in India and South Texas, but what about Minnesota in the winter where you need a 12 inch thick R40 insulation just to survive the cold? The solution, I think, is to build what I call the Gemini Dome. This is a dome inside a dome that allows you to place 12 in inches of insulation between the PVC pipe latex cement dome on the outside and the PVC pipe dome covered with plywood panels on the inside. I will be listing these for sale as plans on my website later this year. To keep up with demand, I am now offering all of our domes as plans for sale on both our website and on Etsy. Downloading the plans eliminates the shipping cost for our international customers and it frees up our own limited manufacturing facilities. If you want to do something nice for me, go to Etsy, buy one of our downloadable plans and write an honest review. That would really help us. I will leave the link to our Etsy shop uh, down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.